Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I want to talk about Pico 8 on the Emolex system. So, um, first got acquainted with Pico 8 on my RG350M. So you see here, I have this set up. Go to Simple Menu and I can just play a game here. Loads right up. Some volume here. There we go. See the screensaver came on Emolek. That's funny. All right. Let's go back out. <clears throat> no. Uh, I'll show you now. I've got this upgraded to 3.9. We go up down to system settings. Information. See, I'm on 3.9, so you need to upgrade to this if you want to run it. Now, I'll quickly show you how to get this set up. I'll have this link in the um, description as well. So, as you can see here, be sure you're running Emolet 3.9 or later, which you've just checked. Download Pico 8. So, you might be wondering also, what is Pico 8? Not everyone knows about this. This is a fantasy console. So, it's a um, basically a fake console. It's 128 by 128 because um, Joseph White, who um, had this idea, was basically uh, like the days of old when you had big restrictions on um, what you could uh, say, your memory, your resolution, and things like that. And also by restricting, uh, having restrictions, it makes it easier to be creative and have like cool ideas. So See, it's pretty similar to the Game Boy Color and the feel of it. <clears throat> oh, and it's programmed in Lua. And once you buy the set, you can also make your own game, which is one of the coolest things about it. So what we want to do is we want to download it. So you go to the download link. Uh, it's proprietary, so you'll pay 15 US dollars. And you'll want to get the Raspberry Pi version of this game, of this um, console. So then you get that, and you will unzip it into your BIOS folder, and then restart Emulation Station, and you're almost ready to go. There's a little bug in 3.9, just change this one line in this SH file, shell script, and, and you're ready to go. And I'll get into the metadata in a bit as well, but let's switch back. So, it shows you a bit about the, so the Pico 8, stylizes Pico 8, is a virtual machine and game engine created by Alexa Lawful Games. It is designed to mimic a fantasy video game console by emulating the harsh hardware limitation of the video game consoles around the 1980s. And this will show up as soon as you have, um, um, so, installed uh, Pico 8, as I described. And it works differently than other systems. And that uh, all you need here is the Splore. So Splore is like um, your explorer that does everything for you. You just go in and you have the full um, virtual console experience there. You see here, I added uh, my own metadata and I have uh, instructions on that page I just showed you on how to do that and how to add that, what to add. Um, so here I put uh, the developer, uh, the genre I put as fantasy console, why not? And um, yeah, a quick description of what Splore does. So let's go into this. Booting Splore. All right, we're in. So you can see you have your favorites list, new games. You can update that as well. I updated it pretty recently. Oh, there's lots of new games. So. People are writing games this all the time, and anyone can just upload it, and all the games are free. It's pretty amazing. Well, I mean, you're at $15. Um, yeah, you have your directory. So you could put your... This also works where you can add your own games. If you find games, like you play them on the, your Linux Windows or uh, Mac computer, and you want to save them, play them once, and then save them, and then you can export them to here if you want. But... I mean, I think most people, you can just use Splore for everything. You don't need to 
do anything fancy. And all this runs straight off the internet, so it's really convenient. So you can also search for any files you want to find. Jam collaborations, works in progress, and featured games. So let's try a featured game. Let's go down to let's play Night Raid. Night Ride, sorry. <laughs> Press X or Z, and note these are there because um, if you think of a keyboard, on the very side you'll have an X and Z key, and these get uh, mapped by different games different ways. So you see it's a, it's a fun car racing game where you're just avoiding other cars. It's pretty easy at the beginning, it gets really hard later on. I think it's a lot of fun. And it goes up and down as well. <laughs> Anyway, you get the idea. You can quit there. You can favorite it if you want to just um, keep it. I mean, there's thousands of games, so you find one you like, just favorite it here. Reset, exit back to explore. We're back here. Uh, I can go to my favorites. Got uh, that's Pico Racer. Pico Arcade, I think, is really cool. It's basically people who made their own clones of uh, popular arcade games. So P Zone, Missile Command, Piconian. Web Pilot, Galactic Wars, Omega Zone, T Tapper. And it's just really interesting to see what people have made. And it's just neat because it's basically like getting a completely new, like all these new, these new old games basically. the idea and what's neat is it is this even linking between games so the arcade actually links to other games and then that takes you back to the arcade you can go back to explore so I find this fun because I have like a Tetris effect on uh, uh, my PlayStation 4 so here someone made if you're familiar with the game this will look familiar to you Show you quickly too my let's see there's celeste this is probably the most popular game it's also brutally hard <laughs> it's a platformer so one button is jump one button is like oh, i forget what they call it brush i guess somewhat reminds me of super meat boy that is a fun game Wow, I've never played this well before. Anyway, you get the idea. And I heard you can play through this in about 20 minutes. I haven't actually finished it yet, but it's pretty cool. I just love seeing the creativity of the people who've made these games. I saw this. I was playing this on my handheld earlier. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend check it out. There's really cool stuff in here. You can just play around with this, make your own games, and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, like my channel, I mean like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.